Samsung has kicked off its teaser campaign for the Galaxy Z Fold 7, and the company is now offering the first look at upcoming camera improvements for its latest foldable device. The Z Fold 7 will feature a more advanced multimodal AI search built directly into the Galaxy camera app. This appears to be a new in-house feature powered by Galaxy AI. According to Samsung, the camera will be capable of understanding what it sees and reacting accordingly. The latest teaser also includes the familiar Ultra Experience tagline consistent with the previous two teasers. In the lead-up to their official launch, numerous details about these foldable devices have surfaced, including information about their processors. Now, new details regarding the Galaxy Z Fold 7's wireless charging capabilities have emerged linked to its recent appearance in the QA 2.10 certification database. An unreleased Samsung device carrying the model number SMD637 U was recently spotted in the Wireless Power Consortium, WPC database, as reported by 9to5Google. While Samsung typically does not use SMDXX format for phone model numbers, it previously used SMD617D to mask the Galaxy Z Fold 5's model number, SMF946B. Based on that precedent, SMD637U is likely a placeholder for SMF967U, which corresponds to the carrier-locked US version of the Galaxy Z Fold 7. According to the listing, the Galaxy Z Fold 7 includes Kai 2.0 certification. This makes it Samsung's first foldable device to receive the Key 2 Ready designation. The phone will require cases equipped with integrated magnets to support the Magnetic Power Profile MPP. It might not fully match the Ultra name when it comes to specs, but one thing is clear. The Galaxy Z Fold 7 is set to be ultra-thin. In its first enticing teaser for the upcoming foldables, Samsung hinted at a Fold 7 with larger cover and main displays. Now, a new teaser shifts focus to the phone's impressively slim design. Numerous leaks and reports suggest that the Fold 7 will be Samsung's thinnest foldable to date. While the exact dimensions haven't been disclosed, the teaser strongly suggests that its design will stand out. It's also expected to be the lightest foldable the company has made so far, which isn't surprising, especially following the Galaxy S25 Edge. Samsung is also promising improved durability and calling the Fold 7 its most advanced foldable yet. However, since this is only a teaser, no further specifics are provided. According to rumors, the Fold 7 may feature some industry-first technologies, but we'll likely need to wait for the official launch to see exactly what those innovations are. Both devices were recently spotted on China's 3C certification website, which typically lists charging speeds for upcoming smartphones. The listings confirm their model numbers, SMF9660 and SMF7660, but the more concerning detail lies in their charging capabilities. According to supporting documents via expert pick, both foldable were tested using the EPTA 800 charger 9V-2.77 ampere, which delivers a maximum output of 25 watts. An accompanying image further confirms the charger's name. According to renowned leaker Panda Flash, the Galaxy Z Fold 7 will be the toughest foldable smartphone yet, thanks to a redesigned internal structure, an upgraded hinge, and brand new hinge dust protective brushes. In a follow-up tweet, he doubled down on his claim, simply stating, confirmed. Samsung is also making a significant leap in display technology. The Galaxy Z Fold 7 will introduce Flex Glass, a latest generation of foldable displays, promising improved durability and flexibility. What about the battery? According to the tipster Anthony, the Galaxy Z Fold 7 will stick with the 4,400 mAh capacity of its predecessor. A boost to around 4,800 mAh would be a welcome upgrade, bringing it closer to competitors and improving battery life. According to reports from Galaxy Club, the Galaxy Z Fold 7 will include a 200-megapixel primary camera, the same sensor found in the Galaxy S25 Ultra, a 12-megapixel ultra-wide camera, a 10-megapixel telephoto sensor, a 10-megapixel selfie camera on the cover screen, an upgraded under-display camera, UGC. While the exact resolution of the UGC remains unconfirmed, sources indicate that the sensor will see improvements. For context, the current Galaxy Z Fold 6 has a 50-megapixel primary camera. Since the Galaxy Z Fold 4 Four, Samsung has consistently used a 50-megapixel wide sensor in the Fold series. The jump to 200-megapixel marks a major step forward, especially considering the minimal camera upgrades in recent years. The Galaxy Z Fold Special Edition was the first to surpass the 50-megapixel mark, featuring a 200-megapixel primary camera. However, this model was only available in Korea and China. Under a different name, Samsung is expected to unveil the Galaxy Z Fold 7 this summer, likely in July alongside the Galaxy Z Flip 7. 
Additionally, rumors suggest the company is developing a trifold device anticipated for release in 2025. Samsung may have subtly confirmed these rumors by showcasing a new display design for its upcoming book-style foldable. A MUC, an unnamed foldable, was displayed alongside the Galaxy Z Fold 6. While Samsung never explicitly identified it as the Fold 7, the device appeared to feature the display intended for the next-generation foldable. Although it didn't fully match leaked renders of the Fold 7, it provided a glimpse of what to expect. One of the standout features of this mystery foldable was its nearly creaseless screen. While completely eliminating the crease remains a challenge due to the complexity of foldable designs, the visibility of the crease was significantly reduced, an improvement that matters most. That said, just because this advanced display was showcased at MUUC doesn't necessarily mean it's ready for mass production. The team at Android Central, who photographed the device, never had the opportunity to use it, raising questions about its practicality. It would be counterintuitive for Samsung to highlight the Fold 6 visible crease at a major event only to retain the same flaw in its successor. Leaked renders indicate that the Z Fold 7 will adopt a wider form factor and a significantly slimmer profile in the Fold 6. While it may not set new records for thinness or completely erase the crease, it will at least embrace a more modern design. The details shared by trusted insider on leaks with Android headlines suggest a significant design evolution. Samsung seems to be drawing inspiration from ultra-thin foldables like the Oppo Find N5. According to the report, the Galaxy Z Fold 7 will be just 4.5 millimeters, 0.17 inches, thick when unfolded and 9.5 millimeters, 0.37 inches when folded, including the camera bum. Excluding the rear lenses, the device measures around 9 millimeters in thickness. For comparison, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 is 5.6 millimeters when unfolded and 12.1 millimeters when folded, making the new model noticeably slimmer. To achieve this, Samsung has reportedly increased the display sizes, featuring an 8.2-inch inner screen and a 6.5-inch outer screen. If these specs hold true, the Galaxy Z Fold 7 would boast the largest inner display of any foldable, surpassing the Oppo Find N5's 8.12-inch screen. However, despite its sleek design, Oppo's foldable remains the thinnest book-style foldable, measuring 4.2 millimeters when unfolded. According to a reliable source, Samsung is revamping the stylus, making it thicker than the one designed for the Galaxy Z Fold 6. Despite the increase in size, the updated S Pen is expected to deliver a much better writing experience thanks to improved pen tips. Meanwhile, Oppo's Find N5 has been widely praised for its slim design, making it noticeably thinner than the Galaxy Z Fold 6. Both Oppo and reviewers have highlighted this advantage, and in response, Samsung is rumored to be adopting the design of last year's Galaxy Z Fold Special Edition for the Galaxy Z Fold 7. While the Special Edition is over 1.7 millimeters thicker than the Find F5 when folded, its refined form factor and reduced crease visibility could help the Galaxy Z Fold 7 compete more effectively with recent foldable models from Oppo, Honor, and Huawei. Samsung managed to slim down the Galaxy Z Fold Special Edition by removing the digitizer needed for S Pen support. However, reports indicate this was a temporary decision, and the S Pen will return with the Galaxy Z Fold 7. According to leaker Pana Flash Pro, Samsung plans to begin mass production of the redesigned S Pen in June, ahead of the Galaxy Z Fold 7's expected July release. The new S Pen will be slightly thicker than the current Galaxy Z Fold 6 model, which is already larger than the version included with the Galaxy S25 Ultra. Additionally, it will feature upgraded pen tips for an enhanced writing experience, though specific details about these improvements remain unknown. Here we have the first official CAD-based renders of the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 7. Thanks to OnLeaks, we now have the first set of CAD renders showcasing the Galaxy Z Fold 7. This year, Samsung is introducing some significant changes, with one of the most notable being the device's thickness. When unfolded, the Galaxy Z Fold 7 measures just 4.5 millimeters thick, and when folded, it reaches 9.5 millimeters or around 9 millimeters without the camera bum. This makes it approximately 1.1 millimeters thinner than the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and 0.4 millimeters thinner than the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Special Edition. The Galaxy Z Fold 7 is expected to feature an approximately 8.2 inch inner display and a 6.5 inch outer display, making both screens larger than before. This would also give it the largest inner display on a book-style foldable. In terms of dimensions, the Galaxy Z Fold 7 measures around 158.4 x 143.1 x 4.5 millimeters, suggesting that the front display will be even wider than last year's model. While the exact aspect ratio of the front display remains unknown, 
These dimensions indicate it is roughly 11 millimeters wider when unfolded compared to the Galaxy Z Fold 6. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button below. Peace out.